is the Sony a7 IV crop mode a deal breaker? I would say no, because every camera requires a workflow and the Sony a7 IV workflow requires that you adjust the way you shoot to a cropped and uncropped workflow. But let me show you how I shoot with the Sony a7 IV and how I use the crop to my advantage. The Sony a7 IV just might not be the camera for you because of the crop and that's okay that's fine but as a photographer when i'm using the sony 16 and 35 to shoot real estate photography and i need a little more reach i crop in to APS-C mode when i need a little more range to compose the shot that i'm trying to get and i always have my tamron 28 to 75 with me and i can swap out the lenses to get the shot but most of the time i have about 30 minutes to get in and out of the property especially when considering the rate they give out tickets out here in chicago especially the towing which is an epidemic which is a rant for another day but the crop allows me to be more efficient with my time and avoid paying parking tickets and getting, and getting towed away. Now, I hardly ever shoot video on a Sony a7 IV. So when it comes to 4K60 and the crop that comes along with 4K60, it doesn't really impact me much, but to future-proof this issue, I'll be looking into a crop lens for the a7 IV when I do start shooting video, which will be soon. So subscribe for when that happens. Also, I rarely use slow motion. But let's say you shoot slow motion, reposition yourself, readjust, recompose, and do what you need to do to get the shot. Yes, it is more work than what you already have to do. I know, but it's okay. It's kind of in your job description as a photographer and videographer. If the Sony a7 IV is your tool of choice, then you have to work around those restrictions. Might be harsh to say, but hey, check out this video right here. It just might help you figure out an issue you are having with your camera right now. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and staying awesome. Stay awesome.